welcome back to Boxy's Corner. If you're new here, welcome. I just finished doing my video on how I sliced and diced my onions for the freezer. Now I'm going to move on to my garlic. So let's do it. So I ended up getting all this garlic uh, from Costco at the same time that I got my onions. And that's because I used up all the garlic that I grew this past summer on making garlic broth. So I made the garlic broth and canned that up and left myself with no garlic. I'm going to actually save a couple of these bulbs for when I'm cooking. Um... So I'm not completely out. So I'm going to save a couple. And the rest I am going to get it ready for the freezer. I'm not going to worry about those. I, I'll just use those as I need them. I'm going to put that aside. I emptied out my little bowl. I brought out a bigger bowl. with this and let me clean up 
and I will be back to show you what I do with it next. So the first way I'm going to preserve this is I'm going to take a little bit and freeze just a few whole cloves. And these will be used for slicing them, for recipe cloths for sliced uh, garlic. I'll have these and this should be more than enough for something like that. The other way will be dicing. So I'm going to dice these up with my little dicer. Now what I'm going to do is add some olive oil into that. I've got this brand right here of extra virgin. And this I will keep in my refrigerator. There, that's for my refrigerator whole cloves of garlic for the freezer and let's go on to the next one so I brought you over to my counter um, we're gonna do I'm gonna attempt to do shredded garlic I have not seen shredded garlic I've seen sliced I've seen diced I've seen um, pureed. I have not seen shredded. So let's see if this is even possible. I thought it would, pre it would be pretty nice to have some shredded garlic in my freezer. So let's give this a shot.
my blade to puree it. What a mess. I'll be right back. Okay, even though it looked like a mess and that this may have been a big mistake and a epic fail, I don't think it was an epic fail. It, once I cleaned up, it actually doesn't look too bad. So what I'm going to do is transfer this over to my little Ziploc bag um, for the freezer. And I've got some grated, not grated, shredded garlic. I don't know if I can get a good angle on this. There. And, and this is ready for the freezer. There we go. Shredded garlic for the freezer. And now I am going to move on to the next thing, which will be, I'm just going to put these little piece, that piece back in, dump that in. I could have used my little, little chopper for this, but I didn't want to dirty another machine. Now for this one, I'm going to use one of my little freezer baggies. I actually think I was going to use this one and I'm going to, I was going to reuse this, but based on the amount that I have in here, I'm going to use a little sandwich baggie. You'll see after why I'm using this type of a baggie and not my, my silicone. I need my funnel, I think. I am going to add about half ounce of water into this. And I will show you why. 
So I'm flattening this out somewhat. That's why I needed the water so that it would spread nicely. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to get my chopstick. Actually, I'll do, I'll do it from here. From the bottom might be better. Or maybe not. Oops. Oh boy, this garlic is going to kill me yet. If you saw what happened earlier, and now this. I think it's time to invest in some decent chopsticks. There. So... What happens next is I put this on here and I freeze it just like that. So after it's frozen, you come in here and you can break off little squares, which would equal probably a tablespoon based on what I'm feeling here. So... Yeah, so that's what, that feels like about a tablespoon. I'm going to put this in the freezer. And I will be back after I clean up to show you what I have. So my garlic is frozen that I did with the chopstick. I want to show you how it works. Open it up. And you can break off what you need. Just like this and I have a tablespoon of minced garlic so for recipes you just break off how many blocks you need and put the rest back in the freezer is that convenient or what so this is what I have I've got my measured out garlic frozen my shredded garlic my whole garlic and these are going in the freezer. My my um, diced garlic or chopped garlic is going in my refrigerator. And this is in my extra virgin olive oil. And these little, little pieces are going to go in my refrigerator. And the way I can handle them is with this little rubber doohickey um, that I will put in and roll it and peel it that way. So this is my garlic preservation during the 2024 Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. So once again, I want to thank you for joining me in Bobchi's Corner, in Bobchi's Kitchen, my kitchen, while I preserve my garlic. And I hope to see you soon.